come out to have a quick little check at the plants this morning and just looking at my jujubes which have obviously lost all their leaves and uh, little embryo fruits are shriveling on them as you can see however the one fruit that set a little bit earlier in August um, feels quite firm and it's got this typical discoloration that jujubes get when they're, they're, from what I've seen on videos it means that they're ripe when they go from green to this sort of like brownie colour. Now this one isn't the correct shade of colour, it's not dark brown and it's not a bright green like apple green colour but this is definitely as close as it's going to get to being edible so I'm going to pick this one and then a little bit later on there's no point leaving it any longer as far as I can see and I don't believe the fruit's going to be edible but I'm still going to pick it anyway if I can and then we'll uh, we'll cut this in half and have a look at the inside a little bit later and see if it's uh, anything like edible so that's a jujube and that variety is Lee that's the first one I've ever had it, it just set fruit too late this year for them to get to a decent size but I'm hoping as it gets older it will flower earlier and set fruit earlier if we get some decent summers so that's a jujube lee my one and only and the first one i've ever had that i would say is probably an edible size so um in a short while we'll cut it in half and uh, have a look at the inside of the fruit i'll catch up with you in that section of the video so well so welcome back, we've come back to have a quick look at the jujube. Now this is the Lee, as you can see from my fingers, it's small, it's probably bigger than a large acorn. Now if you look at videos of them in there, you know, where they're grown commonly in places like America, they tend to be much more of a vibrant green with these sort of patchy brown patches on. These aren't going bad, this is just naturally as they start to age and get to a drying point, they get these sort of brown patches on and that would normally be a sign they were ripe. Now I've no idea if this is gonna be re revoltingly bitter or edible, so we're gonna cut it apart and have a have a look and see at the inside. Let's just have a quick look, see. I'm not expecting it to be edible to be honest but we'll cut it in half and see if we can have a look at the inside I have no idea if it'll have a seed in it see if I can manage to get it apart right well there's no <coughs> there's no uh, there's no seed as such in it there's an empty shell of a seed nothing if I look at the other half there's an empty shell of a seed, but not a full seed. That's quite common on jujubes anyway, I think. Especially as it may not have been cross-pollinated. I'm just curious to see. Normally when they're green, I think they're sort of crunchy like an apple and got some sweetness in, so we'll just see. Nothing to write home about. I mean, I think it's set... It's set far too late and it's had too much cold weather in September and October to actually get any sweetness in it. Not very juicy, no real flavour, no real sweetness. I mean if you ate, if you had this fruit and you were told it's how jujubes are meant to be, I've got to say, I wouldn't waste my time growing them, but obviously it may well be that in better years, when the plants are more mature, I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to eat it, but I think in better years, if the plants were more mature and they produced bigger fruit and they had more sugar in them, then it would be edible. But as it stands, I don't really taste of anything. There's no real sweetness. I don't think I'll poison myself eating it like this, but... There's a little bit of bitterness to the skin or to parts of the fruit, but it's just because it's unripe, really. You won't survive on eating them if that's how they taste at best, but I'm fairly sure that 
fresh jujubes can be a lot better than that. But it's worth trying it anyway just to see what it was like. So that's my one and only jujube this year. That was a Lee. Not very successful, but I'm hoping next year if we get the plants to be bigger, if we get some warm weather earlier in the season, I can get them to set fruit in July. I think there's every likelihood that by the end of September, beginning of October, we could have fruits that are a bit more representative of how they're meant to be, especially as I've got two varieties, Lee and Lang. So thanks everybody for watching. Please remember to uh, give the video a thumbs up, share it with anyone you think might be interested. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And obviously, if you click the bell, you will get updated on new videos as they come out and there might be something of interest to you. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.